What if we have been looking for visitors in all the wrong places? For decades, my colleagues have scanned the skies for radio signals, for messages in light. But what if the first hello wasn't a signal at all, but a feeling, a disturbance in the very shield that protects our planet? Right now, scientific dogma is being challenged. More than 99% of the universe is invisible to our eyes. Yet we insist on explaining everything we see as natural and familiar. But something truly astonishing is happening, something so unexpected that it's left even the world's top scientists, those most resistant to new ideas, speechless. And for the first time in history, Earth's magnetic field, the invisible shield that has protected us for billions of years, reacted to something far beyond our planet not to a solar flare, not to a coronal mass ejection, the usual suspects my colleagues are comfortable with, but to a visitor from the stars. Three, I divided by Atlas. Tonight, we may be witnessing a moment that redefines our place in the universe. It began quietly, almost unnoticeably. A few months ago, astronomers tracking three, I divided by Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to ever pass through our solar system, noticed something strange. As this celestial wanderer crossed into the region influenced by our sun's gravity, a pulse, faint, rhythmic, but unmistakable, was detected in our planet's magnetic field. Uh, at first, researchers did what they always do. They reached for the most conventional explanation. They thought it was coincidence. The sun often sends bursts of charged particles toward Earth, and our magnetic field flexes like a living thing in response. But this time it was different. There were no solar storms, no flares, no coronal mass ejections. The data was clean. Yet deep in the data recorded by NASA's magnetometers and the European Space Agency's swarm satellites, there it was, a synchronous fluctuation timed perfectly with the passage of three. I divided by Atlas through interplanetary space. Think about that for a moment. A rock or something traveling millions of miles away somehow uh, influencing the magnetic heartbeat of, uh, of, of Earth. How could that even be possible? This is where we must be careful not to let our lack of imagination define the limits of reality. We are witnessing an anomaly and in science Anomalies are the signposts pointing toward new discoveries. To understand this, we first need to remember what 3 I divided by Atlas is and what it isn't. Unlike comets that orbit our Sun, this object came from beyond. It's interstellar. That means it's not bound by our solar system's gravity. It entered fast, it's living faster, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen. When telescopes first spotted it, Astronomers thought it might be just another icy fragment similar to Borisov or Oumuamua, the standard explanation. But then came the data. Three I divided by Atlas glowed faintly blue-green, emitting light patterns that didn't match any known chemical reaction. Its trajectory bent ever so slightly against what pure physics predicted, a non-gravitational acceleration, and now it appears to be interacting somehow with our planet's most protective field. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center released preliminary data showing that during one 48-hour period when 3i divided by Atlas crossed the heliospheric boundary, uh, the invisible edge where the Sun's influence begins to weaken. Sensitive magnetometers in orbit detected micropulses at frequencies never before observed in Earth's magnetic field. These weren't random blips of noise, they repeated exactly every 23 minutes. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Alisa Manzison described it this way. It's as if something out there knew the rhythm of our planet's pulse and matched it. This is a profound observation. A clock-like signal from an interstellar object is by definition extraordinary. But could an interstellar object really cause such an effect? Traditionally, space rocks are just that, lifeless, inert travelers obeying gravity. But 3, I divided by Atlas, has already broken the rules. It reflects light inconsistently, changes brightness as though rotating, yet its core temperature remains stable. 
This is reminiscent of Oumuamua, another visitor that defied easy categorization. Uh, some scientists finally opening their minds now suspect it may contain magnetic properties that interact unusually with cosmic fields. Let's pause and visualize this. Imagine the solar system as a vast ocean and Earth as a ship floating within it. Our magnetic field is like the hull, a protective barrier that deflects cosmic radiation. Now imagine a massive alien submarine passing deep beneath those waters, generating waves so subtle that only the most sensitive instruments detect them. That's 3i divided by Atlas, a silent traveler leaving ripples across space itself. When the news first reached NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, teams cross-checked with solar observatories. There were no solar flares, no planetary alignments, no gravitational disruptions, yet Earth's magnetosphere trembled softly but measurably. Could it be a coincidence? Perhaps. But the same pattern repeated two weeks later as 3i divided by Atlas emitted another faint burst of energy in the ultraviolet range. A wavelength invisible to the human eye, but easily detected by instruments aboard the Hubble Space Telescope. What made scientists freeze, though, was this. Every time the ultraviolet burst was detected, the same magnetic signature echoed on Earth's field, delayed by just the right amount of time for the signal to have traveled across millions of miles of empty space, coincidence was no longer an option. That's when Harvard, NASA, and the European Space Agency began a joint investigation. Data analysts confirmed the correlation. The pattern between the interstellar object and Earth's magnetic response was statistically significant. In simpler terms, it was real. But here's where things move from the realm of conventional science into something well, something that requires humility. Some researchers are now suggesting that 3i divided by Atlas might be generating electromagnetic fields far more complex than anything previously observed in natural objects. Its emissions appear structured, not chaotic, but ordered, rhythmic, intelligent in pattern. One physicist uh, compared it to Morse code a cosmic sequence that might carry information. Now, before we jump to conclusions about alien signals or cosmic communication, it's worth remembering the universe itself often speaks in patterns. Pulsars, for example, are neutron stars that rotate so fast they send out precise radio pulses, like ticking clocks in the night. But 3i divided by Atlas isn't a star and its pulse isn't gravitational or radioactive, it's magnetic. And that makes it something entirely new. We must not assume that intelligent means biological. The universe may be intelligent in ways we cannot yet grasp. When scientists ran the pattern through signal analysis software, they found something chillingly deliberate. The intervals matched ratios found in nature. The Fibonacci sequence, a mathematical pattern seen in galaxies, hurricanes, and even the spirals of seashells. Coincidence again? Maybe. But what if it's not? To dismiss this mathematical resonance as mere chance is, in my view, an arrogant assumption. If 3i divided by Atlas isn't just a comet, what could it be? We must consider all possibilities, even those that make us uncomfortable, um, some speculate it could be an artificial structure, perhaps a fragment of a magnetic propulsion system, or even an ancient probe still operating on autopilot after crossing interstellar distances. Others believe it might be a relic of phenomenon, or a phenomenon we've never encountered, a magnetic crystal body capable of storing and releasing energy, reacting dynamically with solar fields. One NASA researcher described it poetically, it's as if the object is alive, not biologically, but electromagnetically, like the universe itself is breathing through it. And maybe that's not so far from the truth. After all, life, even here on Earth, is governed by magnetism. Our brains generate magnetic fields. Birds navigate by them. Entire species sense the planet's invisible lines of force as if feeling the pulse of existence itself.
So when 3i divided by atlas made our magnetic field react, perhaps it was simply nature's way of saying we're connected. Or, or perhaps it was a technology so advanced that it appears to us as nature, just as a smartphone would appear as a magical rock to a caveman. Many of you watching this may remember the early days of space exploration when Voyager sent back whispers from the edge of the solar system or when the first images of Jupiter's storms revealed the world alive with color energy. Each time we thought we had seen everything. And yet the universe always finds a way to surprise us again. Now, as NASA continues to monitor three, I divided by Atlas, more clues are emerging. A recent analysis from the European Space Agency detected minute variations in plasma density within our upper atmosphere during the object's energy bursts as if Earth itself was resonating, subtly tuning to the same cosmic frequency. If this continues, it will force us to rewrite parts of astrophysics because so far no one has ever observed a deep space body influencing Earth's electromagnetic field in real time. Here's another astonishing detail. The direction of the magnetic pulse matched the object's position relative to the Sun, meaning the two systems, Earth's magnetosphere and three, I divided by Atlas's emission, were momentarily aligned like tuning forks vibrating in harmony. Could this be how intelligent civilizations communicate, not with radio waves or lasers, but through magnetic resonance, the very heartbeat of stars and planets? It's a question haunting scientists across the world tonight. Dr. Robert Hayes from NASA's Space Weather Division described it simply, if this is intentional, it changes everything. If it's not, then we've just discovered a new form of natural communication between worlds. Either answer is breathtaking. Now, let's take a step back and think about what this means on a larger scale. We've always imagined the universe as silent, cold, indifferent. But what if it's not silent at all? What if beneath the hum of radiation and the static of stars, there's a language of magnetism, a hidden symphony binding every planet, star, and comet together? 3i divided by Atlas might just be the first note we've ever truly heard. And maybe that's why so many scientists, even the most skeptical, have grown quiet lately. Because this discovery doesn't just challenge science, it challenges our intellectual comfort. It touches something deeply human. It reminds us that for all our equations and satellites and telescopes, the universe still holds secrets far beyond our reach. Perhaps, as some theorize, three I divided by Atlas isn't sending a message to us. Maybe it's sending one through us, a signal that resonates across magnetic fields, connecting planets like instruments in an unseen orchestra. If that's true, then Earth's magnetic response wasn't just a coincidence. It was participation, a kind of cosmic duet between our world and a traveler from beyond. So what happens next? NASA plans to continue monitoring both three I divided by Atlas and our planet's magnetosphere. As the object moves closer to the inner solar system, the frequency of these anomalies could increase. Some even speculate that if the energy alignment strengthens, we might detect other effects. Subtle shifts in auroras, unexplained radio disturbances, even atmospheric changes. No one knows for sure, but everyone agrees something remarkable has begun. And it brings us to a question older than civilization itself. Are we alone or are we part of something larger? An interconnected web of cosmic intelligence that uses the laws of physics themselves as communication channels. Are we the smartest kid on the block? For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars for answers. We've sent probes, built telescopes, and dreamed of contact. But maybe, just maybe, the first sign of that connection was never going to come in the form of a spaceship or a signal in a foreign language. Maybe it would come in the quiet tremor of Earth's own magnetic heart beating in unison with a visitor from the stars. So I'll ask you, do you believe this was coincidence 
or are we witnessing the first whisper of something beyond comprehension? And perhaps in that brief pulse that connected us to 3i divided by Atlas, the universe wasn't just revealing a secret, it was saying hello. The lesson here is one of humility. Science progresses by being willing to accept that our current understanding is incomplete. We must not be afraid to investigate the anomalies that the scientific establishment finds inconvenient. We must be willing to look for answers outside the lamppost of conventional theory. The universe is far stranger and more magnificent than our limited imagination, and we have only just begun to listen. What do you believe? Is 3i divided by Atlas a natural phenomenon we've never seen, or is it the first evidence that we are not alone in this vast magnetic ocean? I want to read your theories, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you believe in the pursuit of these profound questions, please subscribe. We must keep looking.